hey welcome back to my new video this is sampath you're watching sampath samfx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews project elixir version 1.9 july 5 2022 is the latest security patch android version 12 ceiling status enforcing device recognized as x3 nfc but my variant is x3 only it's applicable for both the devices flashing method is very simple flash the firmware here i used 12.5.8.0 zero global firmware you can use the same for both devices it will work fine then flash the rom and format the data and reboot to system and kernel user is 4.14.198 laum 9.1 that is the kernel and the build date is july 28th latest available build for poco x3 and one more thing is use the twrp latest recovery most of them follow everything same but they use some other recovery and they will face problems that's how it is this is a project elixir and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 10 minutes 5 seconds you can see here the maximum is 151 and average is 147 and minimum is 122 million jps and cpu is throttled to 95 percent of its max performance which is good in my opinion this is in fact this is a very good rom i have been using it from last five days now it's really really good in my opinion this is a settings panel you get and this is a quick settings panel you get here and in the edit section there are some of the options if you want you can add them by dragging it and wallpapers selection you can change from here everything will be changed according to your wallpapers and widgets monet engine customization everything is available home settings you get pixel launcher as a pre-installed launcher here now coming to dialer let me increase a little bit of volume and you can see the volume panel here you can see here direct video call feature is available here and call recording option is also available working fine no problem regarding that i really like the pill i haven't seen at the gesture settings but still by default the pill is visible within the screen that's really great what is the option of giving the pill without making it visible that's how it is these are the apps i have installed working fine everything starting with benchmark results the geekbench scores here you get very good score but i don't know when this is going to fix the multi score is 1723 which is really good the single score is just 532 it should be more than 500 and 50 in my opinion the redmi note 7 pro what i have with snapdragon 675 will get easily 500 and 500 sorry 500 or 550 even sometimes in some other rounds i don't know when this is going to fix based on what the scores are available i really don't know and kernel as i said you can see here this is an android 12 l or 12.1 both are one and the same here in my opinion and android benchmark results you can see here 3 lakh 66 thousand 797 and temperature raise was 3.7 degrees celsius and three percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this testing which is good the scores are also really good in my opinion i am hoping some other roms to get as close as 4 lakhs but let's see when it happens and camera application there is a pre-installed gcam here more settings about the app you can see here this is the 8.4.3 be based on google camera and i took some of the samples you can see here the quality is okay it's too much of hdr processing has been taken in this camera you can see here this is a normal mode and this is a portrait mode portrait mode stitching is fine but hdr is too much let me see what is the settings actually available bill okay if you want you can reduce that that's how it is and uh, auxiliary camera also you can add them if you watch my videos frequently how to add that you can know if you want you can use any other gcam ports also and drm info level one certification you can watch all the ott applications in hd resolution i mean high definition that's not the problem here whatsapp is also working fine no problem regarding that safety net status this is an unofficial build but still you get past here i mean you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay Paytm, whatever app the payment application it's going to work fine no problem regarding that this is the app settings here and quick settings panel. let me move into settings and show you the settings here there are a lot more customization in essence settings if you just scroll here you get use custom color options 
and some of the theme related customization and status bar you can see here print of customization included with traffic indicators and brightness clock options and battery cycle battery percentage these things are given in the status bar customization now QS I mean quick settings panel customization artwork media background you can enable and you can change the intensity of media artwork and fade level and brightness slider in QS panel and some of the customization you can see here again if you draw drag here your lock screen customization again here also showed you media art customization available double tap to sleep on lock screen long press for touch plenty of customization available in my opinion into the extras you get advanced restart button and some of the keys customization also you can enable or disable from here those are the things here given and google photos unlimited storage option is available in this room no need to enable anything in the settings and uh, and bgm hasn't been there in the play store i haven't installed it i will try some other games i will add the poll very soon once bgm has will it come or not we'll check later i will add the poll and these are the settings you get in the essence and this is the normal settings you get in this particular room in the display you get plenty of customization here automatic brightness working fine and pitch black theme this is very important for me just enable it you'll get pitch black condition in dark mode whenever i upload as you can see if you guys can make a notice or not if i disable this it will become something like brownish or gray whatever the wallpaper you apply that theme will be applied hence use this pitch black theme for pitch black condition for overall smartphone software experience and colors option i kept to saturate if want you can keep any other thing you can disable from quick settings also as you can see taking a little bit of time whenever you switch from light mode to dark mode and minimum maximum refresh rate kept to 120 hertz tap to wake is given auto rotor screen if you want you can turn it on a refresh rate per app also you can choose from here additional display features don't try them if you want to play high end games if you want to use like high brightness mode for watching videos you can choose among these this is all the display customization wallpapers and style as i said there are plenty of wallpapers and everything is working fine sound and vibration you get all the basic things here included with me sound enhancer you can choose the headphone type and preset type and even the smart scene and even the hi-fi audio support is also given which is very good in my opinion coming back here clear speaker and uh, vibration haptic feedback you can adjust from here and there are some patterns also you can change according to your preferences sound and vibration or app settings you get default apps if you want to change the default apps you can try from here security you get these kind of options here face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me show the face unlock it's very very quick as you can see it's so quick as as in the MIUI. you can see now the fingerprint unlock again it's also very quick just tap your finger it gets unlocked with that wobbling effect even with mobile charging let me show you whether it supports 33 watt charging or not these kind of things only shown in my channel only hit that subscribe button down below guys if you're first time to this channel and also all of the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like as you can see it should show i have covered my camera such that it won't unlock my smartphone you can see here it's showing charging rapidly as you can see it's showing charging rapidly hence the 33 watt charging support is available in this particular arm the project elixir 1.9 latest build available for poco x3 you can see some of the other settings i'll show you privacy location everything is working fine coming to battery life which is very important for anyone to use in your smartphone the custom roms mostly they try for a better performance and the second thing is the battery performance obviously they also need the customization that's there in this particular rom but if you need some other more customized roms i made plenty of roms videos in my channel regarding this particular device poco x you can check out my separate playlist available for poco x there i made many videos regarding this and battery life what can i say it's a very good battery life rom i gave number one position to spark os followed by arrow s now i can give the third position to this one in terms of battery life charging speeds are also very good but it depends guys and this how the settings and everything into system now moving into gestures you can see here basics customizations are working fine type 2 i mean the swipe to screenshot and one-handed mode everything is working fine you can see here 
those things don't have any problem and earpiece quality is also fine and wi-fi connection is also working fine i have 100 mps giga fiber connection mobile data connection is also fine it depends upon your network capability also and the next thing is earpiece quality is fine here and let me go into gestures and check out system navigation here into gesture navigation you get adjustment of pill length which is very important for me it's fine pill radius is not allowed but still it's okay you can distinguish between the actual screen and the pill length that's fine in my opinion this is the project elixir 1.94 poco x3 slash nfc flashing method as i said it's very easy i will give some of that video just follow the same method instead of that rom use this project elixir 1.9 rom zip file thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now